Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise tonight. Hallelujah. He is awesome. <laughs> praise God. I just I just love the word of God. Love to be in the house of God. Just it just doesn't get old to me. It doesn't get boring to me. It, it doesn't. And I ain't just up here saying that for brownie points. Hallelujah. That's something that's real to me. You know, so I just thank God for the opportunity to be in this house tonight. Stand before you in fear and trembling. Hallelujah. I pray the word of God is going to be a blessing to you, okay? So praise God. Thank God for the, the choir. Oh, man, I felt, yeah. And I caught something in it, boy. I need some help. But amen, that, that, that was, yeah. Get a little hand clap for praise. Amen. 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 So uh, just, i just been real, uh, just real thankful for the word of God that has gone forth uh, from this pulpit this year. I mean, a, a word rightly, you know, spoken, rightly fit, you know, I mean, for the times that we're in right now to be able to come week after week and God is still talking, God is still giving direction, God is still moving, God is, hallelujah, he's still on the throne. Praise God. So I thank God for the word of God. That is something that we cannot uh, take for granted. Hallelujah. Because we need more of the word. We don't need to close the churches and all let, okay, foolishness anyway. But that's what we need. I'm just thankful for that. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. We're going to have a good time tonight. Not going to keep you real long. Hallelujah. So we're going to get in, get out. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's go to Romans chapter 1 verse 16. Praise God. Familiar passage of scripture uh, that you know, uh, church, and um, we're going to start there uh, tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Once again, good to see everybody in the house. Thank God for my pastor, Sister Christina, Brother Timothy, all that you do in the church, saints. Praise God. If you have it, say amen. amen. Romans 1, um, chapter 1, verse 16 reads, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Now, when it says to the Jew first and also to the Greek, that's everybody. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody left out. Ain't no special way for you to come into the kingdom and somebody come in a different way. OK, just to clarify that the, the gospel is for everybody. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we just thank you tonight. For your awesome word, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do in this house. Lord God, your word is already anointed, Lord God, and we just give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for it tonight in the awesome name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. You know, the butterflies will be gone in probably about 15 minutes, I'm hoping. Praise God. But God led me to this passage of scripture. Once again, very familiar passage of scripture with you. Uh, Romans 1 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. Uh, the title of the message tonight is There is still power. Hallelujah. There is still power. Hallelujah. One thing we got to understand, don't let anyone deceive you or uh, uh, deter you away from the things of God. There is still power in the word of God. Hallelujah. There is still power in a crucified life. There is still power in living right. There is still power walking in holiness. There is still power. Hallelujah. And we experience that every time we come in into this church house. We experience the power of God. We, we experience the, the living. It's something that 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 moves it's something that uh, transforms hallelujah and I'm so thankful hallelujah that I can still feel God when I come into the church house I, I am so thankful hallelujah there is direction there is still insight on the things of God now when Paul was preaching this he said for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ encouraging those Christians that are in Rome the background of it is Rome it was a very volatile place at that time Hallelujah. Very volatile. Um, involved in uh, emperor worship, if, if you will. Emperor worship, uh, high idolatry, immorality. I mean, just, just a mess. So you can imagine being a Christian in that area, in that environment. It's very volatile. Some have been persecuted. So Paul is writing this to encourage them. Don't be ashamed 
of the gospel of Christ. Don't be ashamed of what saved you. Don't be ashamed of what brought deliverance in your life. Don't be ashamed of what brought power in your life. Hallelujah. And, and the same thing goes for us in this hour. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I can't be ashamed of what saved me. Hallelujah. How am I going to hide what God has done in my life? That, that doesn't make any sense. So you can't be ashamed. We're living in an hour now where people are trying to, you know, back up a little bit. Hallelujah. Pastor preaches this morning. He didn't even know what I was going to preach, but it go hand in glove. Hallelujah. So people are trying to back up off of things of God, trying to back up off the things of God. Hallelujah. Well, let me not, you know, no, no. You got to come out. You got to let your light shine. Hallelujah. You, you got to be salt in the earth hallelujah you gotta you gotta be a light out in this world so what hallelujah if they mock you or whatever but that's a part of it but i'm not ashamed of the gospel of christ because it, that's a power church do you hear what i'm telling you you can't be ashamed of what saved you you can't be ashamed of the lord jesus christ you, you can't be ashamed sometimes you're gonna have to stand by yourself in your family sometimes in your family you're gonna have to stand by yourself you, 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 all right, hallelujah, I'm, 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 hallelujah, you, sometimes you ain't gonna have mama with you, you ain't gonna have daughter with you, you ain't gonna have son with you, you ain't gonna have her, whatever the case may be, but because you know what God has done in your life, because you know what God delivered you from, because you know I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, I'm not ashamed, see the world should know you a Christian, I'm not gonna keep you long. Hallelujah. The world should know you a Christian. Hallelujah. The man of God was preaching it this morning. I'm sitting back there, boy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm chomping at the bed. I'm like, yeah, pastor. Go, 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 go. Hallelujah. The world should know you a Christian. You ain't got to go up and tell somebody I'm a Christian. You don't have to go up and tell them I live different or whatever. They should see it in the life. Do you hear what I'm telling you? They should see it in the life. How you talk, how you walk, how you dress, how you act. All of that is a part of it. Because if there is no change, there is no change. Hallelujah. You hear people all day, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a this, I'm a that. I'm a Christian like you, Jonathan. No, don't put me in that. No, no, because you're doing some things. Hallelujah. Because uh -uh, that don't, that, that's not becoming of a Christian. Hallelujah. You, you can't be talking about you a Christian and then you over here telling dirty jokes and, you, you know, all that. No, no, I don't do that. Hallelujah. So everybody that say that your, that your brother ain't your brother. Everybody that say that your sister ain't your sister. Hallelujah. But, but they want to put on the show. Hallelujah. They, they, they want to put on the form. Hallelujah. A form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. You can talk all day about what you are, but... You, Time will tell if you're really a Christian or not. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. So there is still power. For it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. So what you have to understand is, is when this word goes forth. Hallelujah. You got to believe that word. Hallelujah. When, when the word of God goes forth, you have to believe it. Because if you don't believe it, it's to no effect to you not that the word of God is ineffectual but but because you're not grasping it because you're not believing it hallelujah you're not applying it in your life you're not applying it to your heart hallelujah it ain't gonna do nothing good for you hallelujah but when you apply it hallelujah there is gonna be some change in your life there is still power in the word of God there is still transforming power in the word of God hallelujah yeah Praise God. And I thank God for the word of God that is preached here. Hallelujah. And, it, it, you know, one thing is, is when you come to people and, and they in darkness and you trying to show light and you trying to be that light in darkness, people don't like to wake up. People don't like to wake up. You know how it is. Pastor gave a great analogy. I'm piggybacking off of them if you can't tell. But anyway, that's all right. He gave a great analogy that when you sleep, you know, when you sleep in your bed and then the alarm just go off, you're like, oh, man. That didn't woke you up out of sleep. You comfortable. Now you got to get up. You got to take action because something going wrong. 
Hallelujah. But see, when you come to people, when you come to people in their life and you show them, hey, this what this ain't right. You know, based off the word of God, you got to live this way, not that way. Based off the word of God, I'm telling you what the word of God says, not what uh, Jonathan says, but I'm telling you what the word of God says. And now they are held accountable to make changes in the life. But because they like the darkness rather than light, they get mad at you. They get mad at you. They don't want to. Well, I ain't going to talk to him no more. He always talking about Jesus. He always talking about this. And he always talking about that. But hey, if you want change, you're going to have to change. Somebody get the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. So I don't want to. I thank God I'm not in darkness tonight. Hallelujah. And we got to let our light shine. You can't hide what the Lord has done in your life. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians. Let's go there. Quickly, quickly. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. Mm. There is still power. Hallelujah. And verse 12 reads, That you will walk worthy of God who have called you unto his kingdom and glory. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing. Because when you receive the word of God, which you heard of us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth and the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. Hallelujah. So when the word of God came forth to you, hallelujah, you didn't look at it as, oh, that's just the pastor. That's just Pastor Carter up there preaching or that's just so and so preaching. When the word of God came to you, the light went off. Man, I need this. This is what I've been looking for. I, I, I done went from this church. I done went from this house to this house. But when the word of God goes forth and the light pops on you, you're like, man, this is what I need. Hallelujah. The unadulterated word of God. I don't need nobody to pat me on the back and sin. I don't need nobody. And see, that's the problem. People want to get patted on the back. No, they in sin. Preacher know they in sin and they're like, oh, everything's going to be all right. It's not going to be okay. Hallelujah. Because if I came to this church and, and, and I was patted on the back in my sin, what, what benefit is that? I, 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 I didn't came to church. I, I, didn't heard, I didn't heard a word and you didn't patted me on the back in my sin. But that, that, there's no victory in that. that. There's no power in that. Hallelujah. So if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Show me how to get right. In the word of God. Man, I, I thank God for these altars. Hallelujah. I thank God for a place I can go. It ain't about how much money you give. It ain't about how. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's, it's about having a real walk with God. It's about having a real move of God in your life. It's about being really sold out and dedicated. That's what I want. There is still power in that. There is still anointing in that. Hallelujah. You can have the fake and phony if you want to, but just give me Jesus. You can have the glimmer and the glint. Mm -mm. Just give me Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise now. And the Bible says the word of God which effectually worketh. Now when you look at this word here effectually, this is meaning that it is producing something. The word of God is uh, producing something of value. In my life, the word of God is, is producing uh, uh, life in me. It has a great effect in my life. The word of God has a great effect in my life. The word of God has a great effect in your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Am, am I right about it? Yeah. When you came to the church house, you know how you was before you got here. Before you sit under the word of God. You sit under the word of God six months. I'm telling you, it's going to be a change. It has to be. Hallelujah, but you, there's a condition. It says, also in you that believe. So the, the word of God has no effect without this condition. You got to believe it. You, you got to believe it. I can sit up here, yell, scream, hallelujah, spit, slobber, all that. But if you don't believe it, hallelujah, it's going to be of no effect to you. But I'm looking at some people that got to change life. I'm looking at some people that believe the word of God. I'm looking at some people that the word of God has changed them. The word of God has changed you. There has been a transformation. 
that has taken place. Hallelujah. That's why, hey, give me the real. Hallelujah. I didn't play it to part too long. Some, give me the real. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. See, that's the condition, though. The word of God has no effect without this condition, and that's belief. Hallelujah. You got to believe the word of God. Let's go to Hebrews 4, verse 2. Real quick, church. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. And the Bible says, chapter 4, verse 2, for unto us was this gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Hallelujah. Why are you hearing other folks not? Hallelujah. You heard, they heard the same word preached. They, 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 they knew the same gospel that was preached, but you believed it. You took hold of it. Hallelujah, but oh, it just didn't work for me. No, you didn't want it to work. You really didn't want to change. But when you want to change, when you really want to walk, hallelujah, somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. There's going to be a change in the life. Praise God, there's, there is no way. There is no way. I just don't understand it, man. The word of God is so powerful. Even to this day. It just, you know, I was, I was talking to the man of God and Wednesday, that, that word, boy, that, went, that word Wednesday night, he was talking about it, you know, how, how in Philippians, Lydia, a make of, you know, purple, when she heard the word of God, her heart was opened up. Hallelujah. And, and the Philippian jailer, hallelujah, when they heard the word of God, they, they did something with it and it changed their life. Not only did it change their life, it changed their family's lives. And their heart was opened up and I said, Lord, I thank God that when I got up in here, when the word of God went forth, you opened up my heart, Lord. When the word of God went forth, you showed me. Man, he showed me something. He showed me. It didn't matter who was preaching it. Hallelujah. You know, when we come up in here, we come with, with baggage. You know, we bring a lot of baggage with us, you know. Well, you know, I think it should be this way or I think it should be that way. Well, that's what got you in the mess you've been in for the last 10 years. That's why you've been in the mess you've been in for the last 10 years. Hallelujah. But when the word of God go forth, it's just something. It's just something. Hallelujah. It's just something about it. When you preach the name of Jesus, it's just something about it. When you preach the blood of Jesus, it's just something that begins to happen on the inside. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. For the word of God is the one that changes. And people will look at you and they'll see you and be like, man, what happened to you? Man, you know, you see your old buddies out there. I'm like, man, what happened? Oh, God. Oh, God happened. That's what happened. God, let, let, let me tell you something. God happened. That's what happened. God happened. Not religion. Because all religion going to do, yeah, I went to church on Sunday, but I'm still living like the devil Monday through Saturday. That's all religion is. But when God happened, but when God happened in your life, Sunday I'm living for him. Monday I'm living for him. Tuesday I'm living for him. Wednesday I'm living for him. So when God happened in your life, oh man, you didn't come too late to tell me there is no power in living for this Jesus. You didn't come too late to tell me. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. And, 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 and you know, people, people know. People know it's different. They might not, uh, you know, jump on the bandwagon with you for say, but they know, man, something that happened, though. So, something has changed in that young man's life. Something, something has changed in that young lady's life. Hallelujah. I was talking to my boss. Hallelujah. And they knew us B.C., before Christ. Hallelujah. His wife, his wife knew Sister Nicole, B.C., before Christ. Hallelujah. Now, he was telling me, I'm just sitting at the desk working. And he said, man, Jonathan, I just want to tell you, you know, we was talking about y'all at the dinner table. I'm like, okay, is that a good thing or a bad thing? But anyway, he was like, man, he was talking, to, my wife was talking about how much Sister Nicole has changed. He was telling me. 
He was talking, she was talking about how much Sister Nicole has changed. He didn't, she didn't call her Sister Nicole, but you know, she said she was just talking about how Nicole has changed. I'm like, so what, what you mean? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see what you talking about. Hallelujah. No, because man, she just, she's just a different person now. She's just a different person, man. You're like, Sister Nicole, you know, back in the day, boy, she get with you. I ain't going to go. Y'all ain't y'all heard my testimony, boy, but I'm just telling you, boy. And people, Pastor, I ain't talked to this man. Hallelujah. I'm just going to work, living my life. And he the one came up to me. And he was saying, man, there, there's been a change. And he's like, man, she I always wearing dresses now. You know, and they see that. I ain't telling we Christian. I ain't t- No, they see it. And they just going on and on how man, how, how great, how great. So it got to be something that can come into the life. It got to be something that can come into life and change. And, you know, I talk to him and I'm trying to, you know, I'm still trying to, you know, work on him. But he hard headed, though. Yeah, he, he hard headed, though. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, as for me and my house, we going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. And I was just thanking God. I was like, man, that's, that's an awesome testimony. 